I don't, I'm not sure what happened. Oh no, and I lost a tip. What's, oh no. What's happening, Fish and Friends? Welcome to another episode out in the garage. Yes, we're gonna do some bait making. Uh, super windy out, and we're supposed to get rain coming here in a little bit. So I figured, why not? Let's get out here and make some more plastics because I got a mold, check it out. The three and a half inch ripper mold. So this is a swim bait mold, not anything new. I had it for a while. I made a couple in it, but I haven't made any more because uh, I now have the the dual injector, the split injector, so I can make some laminates, some two tones. The nice thing that they did is made each one of these separate. You can see, so when you pour, each one of these swim baits is separate, so you can use this splitter right here. So we'll put it on, and we'll do uh, put it on just like that, so we can do a different top and a different bottom color. Now, what I want to do for sure is like a oh, dropped it there, like a sungula shrapnel color. This is the missile baits. Uh, I forget what they call it. Their swim bait, that shrapnel color. So kind of a green pumpkin with black flake. The bottom is like a chartreuse yellow with some glitter in it. Now, I actually just got an order from Do It. I don't know if I got any of the yellow. Let's see, I got a whole bunch of different glitter colors here. Uh, we'll kind of look at those as we go. Got some more plastic salt because I was out. Uh, the sinking additive, gosh darn it. I was gonna do this to make some sinking stick baits, but it looks like the thing busted open. Um, I'll have to let them know and see. They are super good about that. If you guys ever have a problem, um, just hit them up. They will take care of you. No issue, they're good folks. So I got pumpkin seed, baby bass, midnight blue, ah, amber. I think that's gonna be the one we'll need. Then some of the brighter stuff, some fluorescent green chartreuse, fluorescent pink and green pumpkin green. So I think we're gonna need both of these. I've already got some other colors mixed up from last time. This color here, these little Ned rigs, if you missed that video, check it out. I was doing laminates in that video and that's what I mean where the top like that is one color, then you split it in half and it's got a whole different color on the other side. That's what I wanna do with some of these swim baits. I don't think we're gonna use that. I want it to be a little bit more brown. As you can kind of see there, it's kind of a light brownish top. We're gonna have a little bit more than that, but uh, what should we mix? Anyway, enough yapping. Let's get to mixing these and uh, making some up. I'm actually gonna get two of these ready. We're gonna make both colors right now. Now that I have a more powerful microwave, this doesn't take 18 hours to heat up two of them. If you're just getting into soft plastic making, I definitely recommend a 1000 power watt microwave and uh, let's start. Alrighty, those are done and out. We're getting that clear color. This is when I like to add mine a little at a time. Let's slowly add color. And remember when you add color, add it slowly, add a little bit of a time. You can always add more. You can't take color out. So I've decided I wanna use this uh, this pumpkin seed color, kind of a brownish, greenish. Did I cut the top off? Oh yeah, 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 we're good to go. So we're gonna add a few drops of this. I don't wanna go crazy dark. Okay, we're gonna roll with that. That needs to cook more. A Little bit of that in there, see what this looks like. Oh yeah, I'm liking that color. Definitely a little bit more yellowy orange than I wanted. But you know what, I also grabbed the chartreuse. We're gonna hit this with just a, a couple drops four to be exact. Kind of that green sunfish belly color. Interesting, okay, okay. Okay, just pulled both of these out. We are very close, we're right at 360, but I need to add some glitter now. All right, I'm gonna pull you off the stand here. Let's see, so I know I wanna put some black in the uh, the top of that, the brown that they call pumpkin seed. Now, missile baits bait in the bottom, they have this like greenish chartreuse and the top also has like this electric blue slash purple. I don't really have any of that. So I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of this holographic purple. And for that kind of green chartreuse, I think we're gonna go with this one. It's a chartreuse, but it's more of like a, a yellowish. I think that'll work. Yeah, that's not really chartreuse. That's like, that's like goldish yellow. Oh well, we'll put some of that in. I've also got some of this ocean spray green. We're gonna put a little bit of that in too. Pumpkin seed, I guess, is the technical name. Let's do a little bit of that purple and then a little bit of the larger black. This is the 0.04. You can see it's got a larger granule, a little bit bigger, and I spilled half of it. As for the pumpkin seed, this kind of brown, I thought it was gonna be a little bit lighter. Apparently I added too much brown at the beginning, but sometimes it does look darker in here. And as you stir it and put a little bit on your knife, like so, you can actually see it's not really that dark. Once you kind of separate it out and start to, uh, to shoot the plastic, always check it on your knife like that. Then you get a little bit more accurate representation. So that's pretty clear. That's not super dark at all. Okay, I think this will work. Let's try that. 358, 356, I think we're good there. 370 on this dude, I'm gonna stir him just a little bit, try to get some of that heat out. Okay, I think we're close enough, let's give it a try. Now I've got my double shot injector here. I'm gonna grab both of these up here. I've already got my splitter. Okay, let's get these both drawn up. I've got my 
splitter up here already. Let's make sure these are nice and even. We've got flow, and I marked the top and the bottom here so I know which one goes where. And even constant pressure. Doesn't take a ton. Top it off. I'm going to skip these. We're going to do two at a time, or four at a time, because otherwise I think this is going to get all messed up and messy. That's what we've got, our eight different swim baits filled up there. I kind of uh, skipped one as I went, so I didn't squirt and push stuff all out, but you can still see I made a mess. Let's uh, let that cool, get everything else back in these, and get them heated up so we keep going. Now I have my mold set up in two vices side by side. You wouldn't need to do this. Um, I do recommend getting a vice. I got these cheap off Amazon for like 25 bucks. Uh, vice is way better, I feel like, than using these, like the clamps. I get better used, but uh, if you want to, you can use the clamps. I just prefer this. But uh, cheap, I just put these side by side. That way, hopefully, we don't have any leaking. We're already warming up there. Let's see what these look like. I think we should uh, be done. All right, fish friends, the moment of truth here. This is a, a big mold, eight cavity. Oh, look at that. Look at that good, soft plastic yumminess. I don't think these turned out too bad. What do you all think? Look at that. More of a brown on top than the missile baits. Now some of these didn't shoot all the way through. You can see they're not as dark. So I don't know if that's a pressure deal uh, or what, but for the first try on these, I like the color. Didn't shoot as clean as I would have liked. Okay, temperature's right on again. Let's run these babies again and see if we can get maybe a little bit harder lines. I think I just meant, oh my gosh, are you serious? Mental note, before you drop your colors, make sure you have the, the tips in your injectors, dummy, Debo. 359, so we are very close. I'm gonna go ahead and run it within 10 degrees of each other. Hopefully, we'll get a good turnout here. Okay, so again, I've got this marked top and bottom. Brown on top, here we go. Chartreuse bottom. Top that off a little bit, I'm gonna skip going to come back to those as I go down the line. That way I'm not squishing all this fresh plastic all out. Now when I say it sucks that soft plastic down in, you can really see on these, see how you can like push your finger down in that? If you don't top off these sprues and put a little bit of soft plastic up top, it'll pull this in and depending on the mold, depending on what plastic you're making, it might not fill it all the way. It'll just, it won't look good. You don't have enough plastic in there. As this, you know, this cool metal uh, is reacting to this hot, hot soft plastic. It's shrinking this and sucking it in. So that's why you want to make sure you top each one of these off after you uh, after you shoot the uh, the injection. All right, let's see what we got here. Now make sure this is good and cool. You don't want to mess with this stuff. Like I said, super duper hot. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Okay, these turned out pretty well. Some of these are good hard lines. I see one, two, three, four. I wonder if those are the ones we did first. Look at that one. That one is about as perfect as you can get. Then some of these, I think on the second way through, as one of the uh, the splitters started to harden, we kind of got more color in one versus the other. That's all right. Some of these I'm gonna use as chatterbait trailers anyway. This little three and a half ri ripper works perfect for that. And these other ones that uh, have a cleaner color. Oh, you know what I did? Actually, I just realized this. You see what I did wrong there? Chartreuse on top, brown on the belly. I flipped them around. I didn't even notice that. Always make sure you double check this before you actually write on it. I'm just going to take a permanent marker and mark where the top is. That way I know. Looks great. Good shooting on it, but uh, the colors are switched around. Listen, it's fine if mistakes like that happen. Oftentimes you learn more from the mistakes that you make, uh, and it's a better lesson than if everything were just go peachy hunky dory the first time. So learn from my mistake. I marked my uh, marked my mold as you can see there at the top. That way I know which way it needs to go. And we go back to shoot, not a big deal. Let's make another batch. Let's move down the line, put a little extra up top, skip one. Just be careful, remember this is super hot, gotta be careful. Put our excess back into these, and again, remember, do it does not have the uh, the tips that have the secure locking deal on it. So when you're pushing it down, just watch the tips when they start to separate just like that. Step away from the, uh, separate from the plunger, stop. So you don't lose them down into your plastisol, and then just you'll have Couple little sprue deals like that to take out and clean out. All right, I think we should be cool on these now. Like I said, it doesn't take long with it only being like 51 out here in Iowa. I don't know what the heck is going on with Iowa, but you can see there, I think these might have turned out pretty well. I, uh, I wrote on the top of the mold to make sure I knew what the top and the bottom was. And as you can see, oh, some on one side, some on the other. Hey, my colors are right this time. All right. Oh, and as for the lines, look at that. Good chartreuse belly, that pumpkin brownish up top. These turned out nice. Yeah, you know what? I think this was the one. That's another one. Man, these turned out cool. And another thing too, if you don't get enough plastic in there, they'll end up hollow. So when you put that extra plastic up on top after you shoot them, 
Um, that's another thing that'll happen if you're like, my baits are hollow, you squish it, it's like, <laughs> didn't get enough plastic in there. But these, oh, these turned out scrumptious. Okay, now do you, any of you other soft plastic makers play this game? After you make a color, it's like, well, I'm almost out. I need to add more plastic. So I'm going to make something different. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let's make a few of these. All right. Well, there we go. First one of the day for Debo on a Debo Custom too. That's a Debo jig head and uh, and paddle tail. There we go. A little pounder to start out the day. Thanks, dude. We appreciate you. Got that one. Look at that hook set. My golly. Probably pounding a quarter on that guy. He's pretty thick, but cold. Nice. All right. Well, homemade. Whoops. I kind of threw him like... Oh my gosh, he went face first into the dirt and stuck. Look at that. Get out of there, feller. Sorry. Kind of stuck in there like an arrow. Anyway, that's what we're working with. Little three and a half inch ripper. That's the uh, the do it ones that I made the other night. That's pretty sweet. They have a really good action on them. But I noticed a much different action uh, when I use the belly weighted swim bait versus that jig head. The jig head was really just that tail action. With this belly weighted swim bait, I noticed the whole thing kind of wobbles. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but I think I need just a little bit heavier belly weight. But see how the whole thing kind of wobbles when you bring it through as opposed to just that kind of tail kick. All right, fishing friends, you got to see me make the soft plastics. You got to see me fish the soft plastics a little bit. Uh, but of course, I've got a whole bunch of new colors now to take out and try. Funny enough, these are probably my two favorite uh, colors out of the night. This pumpkin, that light kind of brownish, almost to see through when you get it up to light. But that purple and kind of black flake in there. And then this one, uh, another super cool color. It's this pearlish light silver that I put some like holographic silver flake in it. These two turned out awesome. You didn't get to see me make these. I sat out there for another probably hour and a half, almost two hours, experimenting, making stuff, uh, and putting things together. I started with that dual color injection of the, uh, the amber chartreuse with some of that pumpkin on top. I then moved on to make some single injections. Again, that pumpkin color with the purple and black flake that I just showed you. And then also that amber chartreuse, I added some red garnet, which is like a real deep red into it. Turned out pretty neat too. Did a couple of those on their own and then mixed all those sprues together from both of those colors, the brown pumpkin, the, the chartreuse kind of green amber uh, and put some orange flake in. I've got a little bit too much orange flake and then just a little bit of green pumpkin. Uh, and that's what we come up with on those pretty neat colors. Then I was like, well, I need to make some bait fish because if y'all uh, have stayed to this point, I'm doing a giveaway. I didn't announce it earlier, I forgot about it, but only the, only the true OGs that stayed at the end of the video are even gonna know. So uh, hold on, I'll tell you how to win. I mixed some regular old plastisol with some pearl silver, pearl light silver, and it's basically translucent with some of that kind of silvery holographic flake in it. I then added some white to it, and uh, the white was a little bit too much. It really overpowered everything, you couldn't see much. So then I added in some more silver, some flakes, some hairy like silver looking flake stuff, uh, and come out with that last color, which looked neat. And then I took some of my leftover black, blue, purple, purple highlight, uh, one of my absolute favorite colors around here, uh, and made some of those to see if, well, we can maybe fish them on the back of a black and blue chatterbait, all kinds of stuff, but uh, that color turned out pretty sick. So I want you to comment below and let me know what your favorite color was. I'm going to pick a random comment. And if you win, it has to be somebody that says what their favorite color was. Now, it uh, doesn't mean you're just going to get those. I'm going to give away a little bit of each. I'm going to put a big bag together and give you, I don't know, probably 20 or so of them. Pick from each color uh, and give you a bunch of those swim baits to try out. But you have to tell me what your favorite color was below. So comment below. Uh, I think do it. Just come out with a couple other type of swim bait molds. I haven't got my hands on any of you, man. I seen somebody post about it. Do it. Uh, maybe it was their post. I don't know. A couple different swim bait molds. Maybe I'll have to get my hands on those. But otherwise, comment below and let me know what you would like to see me make next. I have a lot of fun doing this. I haven't uh, made any soft plastics for a while. So that was fun. But like I said, I got to get the kiddos to bed. I still need to edit too. It's already late. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate everybody's support. Tonight's subscribe fishing friend is my guy, John Frank. John, I believe uh, I still have your baits over there. I owed him some. Good supporter who sent me some lure eyes. Uh, brother, I appreciate you a ton. <clears throat> Hit me up on Instagram. I think I've still got your things and stuff. So thank you, brother. And thank you, everybody else that continues to support me. It means a ton. But uh, I got to get out of here and edit. So thank you all for watching. And until next time.